Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. You know, I'm not one to disable safety features on a laser. However, some people have said that they don't like the fact that you can't open the door or run a job with the door open with the Lasermatic 10. So today we're going to address that. And you know, <laughs> the answer is in the owner's manual. Hey, this whole channel is based on the owner's manuals. So you might want to consider that too. Uh, so some of the questions I've gotten is how can I bypass this? And people have come up with all kinds of creative uh, solutions to that. But uh, let me show you what I read in the owner's manual and I'll show you how to do it as well. Let's go. Okay, so um, this is probably going to be very hard to see because my hands will probably get in the way. But I have gone ahead and gotten the two little jumpers right here from the supply kit and dropped them in here so I can use them. And on here, way up at the top of the control board, you're going to see the two plugs right up here. And I don't know if you can see it with my finger. Let me try. Let me try and use a pointer. So um, here are the two plugs for the limit switches right here at the very top of the control board. And what we're going to do is we're going to unplug those and we're going to plug in the jumpers. Now this is going to be hard for me to do and, and video at the same time and my hands will probably be in the way as well as my maybe my head so I'll now try and get those off and there is one so that you can see what it looks like And there is the other. So now that we've got those off, what we have to do is take the little uh, bypass switch and we need to uh, attach it. Well, it's going to be the S and the G, which is going to be this side of the plug itself. So I'm going to attempt to do that on video. And now you can see that I've got the jumper on there. And according to the manual, I'm supposed to jump the S and the G. And I will go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. And it's best to have a, a pair of pliers or something to do this with. And then I'm just going to make sure that I've got it on the first two. And I will just tuck these wires in and out of the way. And now um, the machine is bypassed. Now we don't want to tuck this one here because we don't want it to be on that roller. So I'll tuck it in up on the top here. And now we've got both of those limit switches disabled. That will now allow you to open the door while your laser is working, which I don't recommend. But for some of you that want it, um, hey, it'll work. Okay, so you see that I have turned on the laser now with the limit switches bypassed and I'm going to open the lid and run a job. So I'll load a job real quickly in light burn that I've got ready and we'll see how this works. Of course, now you're going to make sure that you have your glasses on, your safety glasses, um, because you're, the only protection that you've got at this point is the around the lens itself, the uh, orange acrylic. And uh, I, you know, I generally wear my glasses even with the lid closed, so it doesn't matter. And you can see that it is running the job 
just fine. If you're wondering what this is, this is uh, craft paper. It is 0.25 mil, and I'm just removing the color. Um, these settings were just assigned straight from the library, as you can see. I've got some test cuts on here that, that have already been done, and I know that these settings are going to work fine. On the uh, removal of the coloring, that is at, let's see, 18,000 millimeters per minute and 32% power, and that removes the color just fine. And the cut on this paper is set to 1800 and 50% power, and that will cut it out of the paper. So as you can see, bypassing the limit switch, the limit switches does in fact work. And uh, again, not, not something that I would recommend, but if you're the type of person that wants to uh, use the laser with the, door, the cover open, well then, this will work for you. And there we have our completed job. And this is the final product here testing paper <laughs> as you can see comes out real real nice and no more limit switches all right so i just got a question from one of my patrons about whether they should wait for the new unit the new rolly to uh, come with the pass through doors because they've announced uh, some upgrades to the machine and the answer is no and I'll tell you why really quickly. And this is a very good point, by the way, for a lot of you that really want the pass-through. So there are only four screws, two here and two back there, that hold this entire top piece on. Okay? All you have to do is take those four screws out on both sides. And down in there, you'll see there is the plug for the fan. And this entire top piece comes off. And of course, you would need to uh, unplug the light burn camera. And over here, you can see that that's not a hard thing to do because these clips, they open and close. All right. So that's all that you would need to do and remove this entire top all the way around to the back. Take it off, leave the sides on, and you will now have a pass-through front to back for as long as you need so yeah okay there is one reason <laughs> why you would want to uh, put those uh, bypasses on the limit switches all right so the question becomes um, do you want to disable the safety switches on the acrylic door and the answer is probably no but some people have said that they don't like the safety switches on the door. So this video will help you if you're one of those people. But by bypassing those safety switches, uh, number one, you need the door closed to um, use the light burn camera. So that's number one. Number two, you need the door closed so that the uh, container ev evacuates all of the smoke properly. So you don't want to have the smoke rising into your work area while you're engraving or while you're cutting. At least I don't. My rule is that if you can smell it, it's bad for you. So, um, yeah, I, I, it, this is not something that um, I would do myself. I did it for a demonstration in this video, and I'm going to go back and pull those bypass uh, jumpers off and plug those switches back in because I don't want the laser to operate when you open up the door. Now, uh, if one of my grandchildren is here or a guest is here looking at a laser uh, and they open that door, I really don't want, don't want the laser to continue working because uh, it's dangerous. Now, if you have your safety glasses on like I do, I make it a, a habit 
of wearing my safety glasses even when the door is closed because you know it it's just added protection now these uh, orange acrylic glasses they do block depending on the quality of the acrylic and i do trust the quality of the acrylic on the rolly but uh, it's up to about 95 percent of stray laser beams uh, can be blocked by the orange acrylic then of course you've got the acrylic shield on the laser module itself which i guess theoretically you'd get a hundred percent of those um, laser beams blocked but i don't trust that and now we're eliminating one layer of protection by opening the door so when you eliminate that layer of protection by opening the door you're depending on just the acrylic that surrounds the laser beam on the module which is not completely covering it all the way down to the workspace so you could in fact still have straight laser beams especially if you're doing like metal or something like that if you're doing a stainless steel pendant uh, or anything that's metal um, the the laser as it performs its job can actually um, take away some of that material and then reflect off of those edges where it took it away outside of the actual um, enclosure so you really want to make sure that you know you 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 really don't want to do this and I don't know why uh, there have been several questions on the forum already about it I've gotten uh, a few private messages how do I disable this well this is how you disable it uh, it goes against my recommendation and I will be plugging my uh, safety switches back in on my machine but if this is something that you want to do then have at it and like I said I am one to read the owner's manual so when I first got the question I already knew the answer because the first thing I do is read the owner's manual and yes I even read the owner's manual on my new truck <laughs> so uh, that's what this channel is all about reading the owner's manual and there you go I hope you enjoyed the video today as much as I enjoyed making it for you and as always I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one